But well, welcome back Fiat fans, today was the second day of spring thing in Texas. On the agenda today was our time speed distance rally, along with a scenic drive. And if you've never heard of a time speed distance rally before, it's not a race where whoever's fastest wins. It's sometimes called a regularity rally. And basically it just means that there's a certain average speed you're supposed to carry over a certain distance. And how close you get to averaging that speed determines who wins. Obviously if you're slower you get points taken off, and if you're faster you get points taken off. And just to spice things up, there was actually three different routes today. The rally came in two separate flavors, and there was also the scenic route as well, and all three were different. But they were also overlapping in parts. But all three were a nice drive out into the hill country west of San Marcos. Everyone had time to check out the blue bonnets too. And of course, breaking down is always more fun with friends. After the drive, we headed over to Madness Auto Works where they had a cookout for us. How are you doing, Susan? <laughs> Later that night, some folks even took in a drive-in movie. Well, just kick back and enjoy the rest of the show. And stay tuned for day three. little history about us. Uh, my wife and I started this business back in 2008. I was the president of a classic mini club and I used to modify cars and I would always be frustrated with shops. And we started out of our spare bedroom. My hobby was coming, from, coming home from work, taking off a suit and doing somebody's cold air intake <laughs> because it was just fun. So 80% of what we do is we develop parts and ship all over the world. 20% of what we do is we install everything that we offer for local customers or those that drive or ship their cars in. We do YouTube videos on how to install product and uh, to help folks that are doing it at home. We operate about 12 online stores. One of them is Smart Madness for smart cars, so we build crazy smart cars. Then we operate 500 Madness, which was our Fiat site. We own an Abarth 124. I've had every Fiat possible. I learned to drive it a lot of when I was probably eight years old in my dad's lap, and our first car in the US was a 128 sedan. And I used to have a 124 sedan that I wish I never sold. We also operate Alpha Fair. We focus on newer Alphas. We own a lot of them. We develop parts for them. We've had some classic Alphas here that we've done work, but it's mostly been a labor of love. Labor of love. It's not really our business. But for newer Alphas, we have everything possible. We also operate Trident Madness for our newer Maseratis. <laughs> we operate Jag Madness for newer Jaguars. Also just launched Hornet Madness for the Dodge Hornet because it's really an Alpha Romeo underneath. It's got the same motor as my two liter Julia. And Madness Auto Works is kind of our an umbrella. This is the famous Ring Brothers Pantera. This car cost over a million dollars to build. It did the, uh, the Pennzoil World Tour. The last it was on display was at the Peterson Museum next to Elvis' Presley's Pantera that he famously shot up because it wouldn't start one day. We maintain private collections like this one. We maintain this. We drive this thing for him. We bring it to car shows for him and things like that. So this is a really cool car that's been built uh, and it's 
just fantastic. Well, bye. Thanks for watching. That wraps it up for day two, but be sure to subscribe if you're not already. You don't want to miss out on the wrap up of day three. See you guys then.